Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. In the last video we have seen how can we use PyCharm and GitHub together. That means how can you push your project on GitHub or how can you pull a project from GitHub. In this video we will see how can we use two different PyCharms and if you have two different developers working on the same project, how can you merge it. So let's say example you are working on a project and if your friend want to help in your project or maybe you have a member of three people and they want to contribute. So of course someone has to get a main repository right. So let's say you are making the main repository and they will contribute. So of course they will be having their own repositories, they will be having their own copies and every time they make a change they will push the project on your your repository how to do that and that we'll see in this video so let's move to the laptop so let's see how can you share your code now you can see we have two different PyCharm here one is Telesco's PyCharm and one is Naveen's PyCharm right we have two different stuff so as you can see we have two different PyCharms and then we have two different github account so one is controlled by Telesco training and one is controlled by Naveen Reddy this project is been created by Telesco Training. So what Navin Reddy want to do is Navin Reddy want to contribute. The code which we have done with Telesco Training is hello and welcome to Telesco. If you can see on the remote repository as well, we only have two lines. Now Navin want to contribute here. Navin want to add one more line. Is it possible? And that too from different machine on different GitHub account. So the steps are very simple. So in fact, you know, Navin can also use the same GitHub account to make it work. Otherwise, what we can do is we can go here uh, so let's go back to the github of Navin Reddy. In fact, we are not yet signed in. So let's click on sign in here. So the username is Navin Reddy20 and the password is some. So we are done with the login and it says, okay, so now it is showing all the repositories here. I want to search for the repository of Telesco Training. So let's do that. So in fact, you know, Telesco Training can share the link if Telesco Training want or Navin Reddy can simply search for it. So you can see we got the Disco Training repository here and the Disco Training has a lot of repositories. Let me just check it out. This is the current one which the Disco Training is working on. Okay, now the thing is you can clone this project and you can do some experiment. If you want to provide some input, you can actually click on fork. It will get a different branch for you. So we got a separate branch. Now you can see Novin Reddy is copying this project from the Disco Training. I just love this animation. Now here, your project, so the copied project also has two lines. We want more lines. We want to have our own content here. How will you do that? So first of all, you will pull this project, the project which you are working on because we are two different branches. So you can do anything you want. It will not affect the original Telesco training repository. Let's go back to PyCharm. I want to pull that project. And you can see we have two different themes for PyCharm. The Telesco training is using the white color PyCharm and then Anavindrati is using the black theme. So let me just check it out. So we'll, we'll say get and here I will mention the URL. So let's go back here and so you will get the URL from here. So copy it. Now this is not the Telesco training URL. Okay. So mind that. Now you can see uh, we are getting option of login to GitHub. Now in fact you need one more thing. You need a git in your machine. I'm not sure if this machine has a git installed by default. So let me just log into GitHub first from here. Click on login and oh that's done. So GitHub is done. Now does the connection just to be on safe side. Oh, it is, it says, Oh, can you see that it says cannot run get. So file not found git.exe. So let me just do that quickly. So I will just to show you the steps. So I will say get download. So we are using windows here. Let's do that. Now it will get downloaded soon. So as you can see, we have downloaded the git software. Just click on this. It's very easy to install actually. So simply click on next, 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 next. It says will use. Okay. Let's keep it default. Let's keep everything default as of now. Okay, so you can see it is done and we don't want to see the notes and nothing. Click on finish. And if I go back to PyCharm, it may not work again because we have just installed Git. So let me just reopen PyCharm. So let's do the steps once again. I will click on Git. I have a repository. Let me just paste it here. Now this time when I say test, it should work because we already have a Git in the machine. Now click on clone. The moment you say click on clone, it will create a project for you. Yes, I want a directory for this. And this is our PyCharm. So it is opened and I don't know the black theme uh, is it it's good for programmers but I'm not sure about the video. But then just to give you a just if I open this demo.py you can see we have our code here. Oh okay we don't have a Python interpreter in this machine but that's fine we are not going to run this project here. Okay so we have these two lines. Now I know the font is a bit smaller but I don't want to change the font as of now. The important thing is what if Naveen want to add some more lines I would say 
hello from Naveen. This is the text I want to add. Okay. So Naveen is adding some more lines. Maybe Naveen is also adding some more files. Now this thing need to be there on the server as well. I mean, I want to push this project. So let's say Naveen has it five to six modules. I want to push this thing to the Disco training. Can we do that? So the, here are the steps. Now, first of all, whatever you are doing is this happening in this machine. You need to send, you have to save this in a git, local git. To do that, you will simply, you will simply say right click, go to git and say commit. That's the first step to do. Uh, you can add any commit message you want. It should be good actually. But then as of now it works. Click on commit. The moment you say commit, it is stored in the local repository. Uh, we can have any demo ID here. Send and commit. And you can see, uh, we don't want this VCS file there. You can see the local commit has been done. Now, once you have done with the local commit, you have to push this to the remote repository. For, for doing that, you have to say git again and you have to say repository. And this time you have to say push. Click on push and that's it done. So this code will be pushed on the remote repository of Navin Reddy. And as I mentioned before, it may ask you for the username and password. Let's do that quickly. So I guess it, it will ask you for this for the first time when you're doing this. Okay, you can see it says uh, pushed, right? Let's go back to the website just to verify here. And if I open this file now, it should be having three lines. Oh, that's great. So you can see we got hello, we got welcome to the Lisco. And we also got hello from Naveen. Now this is the repository of Naveen Reddy. Okay, if you can see, we have a repository of Naveen Reddy. That's how I'm logged in. If I go back to the Lisco and if I see this is the Telisco account here, and if I refresh this page, it is still two lines only, right? Because whatever you have done, whatever we have pushed is there only on Naveen Reddy. How will Telisco will receive these changes? Now, whenever Naveen Reddy want to contribute, what Naveen Reddy will do is, of course, it will go to the repository again, this repository, and Naveen Reddy will create a pull request. So you can see we have an option of new pull request. So we have to say new pull request. Now this request will go to Telisco training. Can you see that? It says a base fork is Telisco training. It will send the pull request there. Okay. Uh, with some changes, it will remove the line and it will add a new line. Is it? Maybe. Maybe that's one change we have done here. Let's see what happens. Now I will simply say create a pull request and that's done. Uh, it will ask you for the message as well. Let's keep the default message and create a pull request. That's it. The request has been sent to Navin Reddy. Let's verify. So I'm switching back to Telisco training now. And Telisco training, if I refresh this, you can see it says one pull request. Click on this one. Now this request has been sent by Navin Reddy. Okay, so we can have multiple contributors, not just one. Maybe Kiran can contribute. Maybe uh, Pravin can contribute. Maybe Rakesh can contribute. We can have multiple contributors. Okay, now just click on this. I hope, I think we have to say merge pull request. Now, of course, first of all, you have to verify what the other party is sending to you. And after that, if you feel everything is good, simply click on confirm merge. Sometime the conflict may happen. You have to solve the conflict as well. At this point, we have not got any conflict. We are lucky here. And that's it. I guess the merge has been done. Can you see that it says merged? And if I go back to my Navin Reddy, it also says merged. Okay, so the moment you say merged from Telisco training, it will say merged here as well. Go back to Telisco training and here you can see it says merged. In this, if I see the code now, it should say three lines, hopefully. But that's great. You can see we got three lines here. But then if I go back to PyCharm of Telisco training, we still have two lines only. Okay, what's wrong here? So if you want to have this one updated, of course, right, this is not updated here. If you want to keep this updated, right click on your project, say get. Now this time, instead of saying push, you have to say pull. So whenever you copy data from the server, you have to say pull. Whenever you want to send data to the server, you have to say push. Here you will say pull and click on pull. I hope it will work. It worked. Can you see that we got three lines? So it is so easy to work in to work on a GitHub. So if you have multiple people working on the same project, this is how you should work. Okay. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comment section if you have any more questions. And also let me know if you are enjoying this series. So that's it everyone. Bye-bye.